Thanks for watching Lessons in Minutes with Jay Lee. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Hey guys, let us look at costing principles, specifically cost plus pricing. At the end of this session, you should be able to calculate selling price using cost plus and markup pricing. But what is cost plus pricing? Cost plus pricing involves adding a markup to the cost of goods and services to arrive at a selling price. So a business would pick up the cost of a single product, add the profit that they hope to generate on that, and that would give them the selling price. But that profit that is added to the cost price is the markup. All right. So we can safely say that cost plus pricing is also referred to as markup pricing. How do we apply cost plus pricing? So let's look at that application. The first thing that you'll need to do is to determine the cost to produce one item. Then calculate markup percentage. And then what you would do next is to add markup percentage to production cost per unit in order to get the selling price. So the aim in applying cost plus pricing is to determine the selling price. And out of that too, you are able to determine the profit to be generated from selling a single product or even a certain amount of products, okay? Let us now look at an example of applying cost plus pricing. And I'll be using this question that was worked out in our manufacturing account lesson. If you have missed that lesson, the link is in the description below. My aim of using this is that coming from the manufacturing account, you're able to determine the cost of production. And in, for this question, we calculated the cost of producing 25,000 units. And that cost is $319,360. So the aim of preparing your manufacturing account is to calculate your production cost of goods completed. And to get that, it is simply the direct material cost plus your other direct costs, which would be like your direct expenses, direct labor, et cetera. Then you add your indirect costs, which are your overheads, and that would give you your production costs of goods completed. In some questions, having completed the, the calculation, then you'll get the cost per unit. But in this case, in some questions, like in this case, you have a total production cost to produce a certain amount of items. And in this question, it is to produce 25,000 units. So what I have done is added another section to this question, another part to this question, where it states that Terra Lounge policy is to calculate a selling price using a markup of 25%. And you are required to calculate the selling price of one item. Why is this done? You'll find that when you get a manufacturing question to apply this basic costing principle, you may just be given another part to that question. And you want to ensure that when you walk into that exam, you're able to calculate that. Okay, so hence I've added this to this particular question. I look at another concept where you're given a question where you will have to generate the total cost to produce one item. And uh, from there, you will apply the cost plus pricing to calculate the selling price, as well as determine the profit that is generated. But that will be done in another session. So let us look at this part C. So remember that you are asked to calculate the selling price. And to calculate the selling price, the first thing that you need to do is to determine the cost per unit. In order to determine that it is production cost of goods completed divided by the number of units produced. And this was done from part B of the question. And the cost to produce one item is $12.77 per unit. 
when you plug in these figures into your calculator, you'll get 12.7744. But I have rounded off to two decimal places because guess what? We're working with dollars and cents. And if it is that you're asked to run off to the nearest dollar, then that would have been $13, but no instruction was given. So therefore, I keep it at $12.77, dollars and cents. So we have determined the cost to produce one item. Know that we have done that, then we are able to determine the markup. To get the markup, people, it is simply the 25%, which is the markup coming from the question, multiplied by the cost per unit, which is $12.77, and that gives us a markup of $3.19. Now, we have the cost per unit. We have the markup, so therefore we're able to generate the selling price, which is the cost price per unit plus the markup percentage, and that gives us $15.96. Another way in which you could work this out, if it is that you're not required to show the markup, the actual value for the markup, you can then use this option where you pick up the cost per unit, multiply that by one. The one would basically take in the cost per unit. 0.25, they represent the decimal for the markup percentage of 25%. If it is like 50%, percent it would be 1.5 if it is 75 percent that is 1.75 if it's five percent it is 1.05 so all we do is to convert that 25 percent into decimal so having calculated that you would notice that we still get back the selling price of 15 dollars and 96 cents so guys, let us review the concept in applying cost plus pricing. The first thing that you need to do is to calculate the cost per unit produced. And remember, if it is that you're given a general value based on a certain amount of units that you have produced, you are to divide that total production cost by the number of units produced to get the cost per unit. And that was done in this lesson. The next thing that you'll do is to generate the markup. And the markup is whatever percent that they apply for the markup, in this case it's 25%, multiply by the cost per unit, and that will give you the markup percentage of $3.19. And tell you what, for each item that is sold, the business will generate a profit of $3.19. That is the markup. The selling price actually is the total of the cost price plus the markup, and that gives you a value of $15.96. That is saying that each product will be sold for $15.96. And tell you what, Remember, there's the alternative. If it is that you're not asked to show the actual value for the markup, what you can do to get straight at your selling price is pick up the cost price per item, multiply that by 1.25. So actually the decimal there is the conversion of the percentage into decimal and you'll get the very same selling price of $15.96. And that takes us to the end of this lesson. In another lesson, I will look at where we prepare a question from scratch, where you're asked to calculate the direct costs of the item produced, of one item produced, the indirect cost to produce one item, the selling price, as well as the profit to be generated from an order. So I'll see you in our next lesson where we will look at that. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe.